Hi friends, Julia here today with a video demonstration of a hard level two-part analysis verbal question. This one is still in the standard verbal format, which means it asks about things like strengthening or weakening conclusions, finding conclusions, finding assumptions, that sort of thing. Next time, we're going to look at a two-part analysis problem that requires filling in the blank, but I think those are a little more of a stretch for our classic verbal prep skills, so I wanted to start with these and give everyone a chance to transition over into data integration steadily. Let's check out this target test prep question. The recent surge in funding for space exploration initiatives reflects a growing recognition of the benefits that space research can bring to humanity. By investing substantial resources in space programs, nations are not only pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, but also driving technological advancements that have direct applications on Earth. For instance, technologies such as GPS systems, satellite communication, and advanced weather forecasting owe their existence to space research. Given this record of innovative, of innovation stemming from space exploration, it's clear that funding space exploration provides a massive return on investment. In the table, identify the statement that most accurately states the conclusion of the argument and the statement that most accurately describes an assumption on which the argument depends. Make only two selections, one in each column. This two-part analysis question is looking for dependent answers in that it'll be easier to find the second answer once we found the first answer. Sometimes two-part analysis questions are looking for two independent answers, and sometimes it can be difficult to tell. It's a good idea to get a feel for which way to approach the answer columns before you start, but sometimes it becomes more clear once you start working through the choices Column one is looking for a conclusion, and column two is looking for an assumption that the argument relies on. So, answer A. The benefits of space research outweigh the costs of funding space exploration. This statement fits well with the argument. Is it a conclusion or is it an assumption that the argument relies on? I think it's a little bit hard to tell at this point. So I'm going to put a pin in it and we're going to come back. Choice B. Technological advancements in other sectors are independent of space exploration. Some technological advancements are independent of space exploration, but that's not what we're talking about here. This choice is irrelevant. C. Funding space exploration is a sound fiscal strategy. This also fits with the passage. Put a pin and we'll see if there are any more good answer choices. D, space exploration initiatives have not faced any major setbacks or failures. Definitely an overstatement for this argument. Some mark it as irrelevant. And E, the recent surge in funding for space exploration is a temporary trend. Also well out of scope, mark as irrelevant. Now that we've narrowed it down to this, one and this one, I think it's easier to see which is the assumption and which is the conclusion. If this option is an assumption the argument relies on and it's found to be untrue, the benefits of space research don't outweigh the cost, then C as a conclusion wouldn't work because spending more than something is worth is not a sound fiscal strategy. So I would put C as the conclusion and A as the assumption. As you can see, while you're using tools that you've had practice with, the two-part analysis application does add an additional layer. Now that we've practiced a few of this problem type, I hope the similarities are easier to spot. If you can do well on verbal with just a little bit of extra care, you can succeed on verbal DI questions as well. Best wishes, and I will see you next time.